I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and today I'm here with Nathan Runkle from Mercy for Animals. He's just going to chat to us today about what inspires him and why he became vegan. How are you Nathan? Good. That's good. And so tell us about Mercy for Animals. Why did you start it? Well, I uh, started Mercy for Animals about 12 years ago mm -hmm. in Ohio yeah. and it is a, now a national nonprofit animal protection organization cool. and we work exclusively on farmed animal protection issues. So mm -hmm. we work to promote compassionate food choices and policies. Mm -hmm. We do undercover investigations at factory farms and slaughterhouses. Mm -hmm. We do corporate policy campaigns, human education work in mm -hmm. schools and uh, work to inspire and motivate people to adopt a vegetarian vegan diet. Yeah, that's great. And um, how did you become, how did you start on the vegan path? Well, I guess you could say that I was born loving animals and mm. caring about animals with a natural sense of, sense of empathy for them as most I think people have, most people they? have. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, I grew up on a, a small farm, so mm -hmm. grew up around animals, and they were really the first ones to teach me that it's not just humans, but mm -hmm. really all creatures that have the ability not only to suffer pain and fear and mm -hmm. loneliness, but also to have friendships and lifelong bonds mm -hmm. and, um, you know, to love one another and, and have the whole range of emotions mm -hmm. that, that we do. So. Um, I, I also witnessed a lot of animal abuse growing up mm -hmm. uh, out in the country. Both of my uncles were hunters and trappers, mm -hmm. so I witnessed uh, yeah, animals being skinned alive and being trapped mm -hmm. and, and this whole array of, of horrific s suffering. Mm -hmm. And my heart always went out to those animals. Mm -hmm. It was something that just always felt very wrong to me. But when I was 11 years old, I was at a mall for an Earth Day event, mm -hmm. and they there was an animal protection group that had yeah. a booth set up there. And I picked up a brochure on mm -hmm. vegetarianism and factory farming, and just felt sick to my stomach to see images of animals on factory farms mm -hmm. and you know little gestation crates or battery cages and mm -hmm. veal crates, and went vegetarian on the spot. Mm -hmm. And cool. yeah, and a few years later decided to to go vegan because mm -hmm. I just couldn't justify supporting animal abuse in the dairy or egg industry. Yeah, exactly, because it's worse than yeah, death, it's, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, like chickens that are raised for food live about 45 days, and egg-laying hens can live a number of years and even closer confinement. So yeah, it's horrible. a lifetime of suffering for them. And yeah, that was the same with me when I became vegetarian first, and then when I found out that that wasn't enough, mm -hmm. you know, and that you, I was still contributing to the cruelty, then I became vegan as soon as I knew about it. And um, you, um, you have just done a national campaign, is it? Farm to Fridge? Yeah. So can you tell us more about that? Sure. Well, the Farm to Fridge campaign is based off of the video Farm to Fridge, mm -hmm. which is 12 minutes, and it's narrated by uh, James Cromwell, who's the, the farmer and babe. Yeah, that's an and Australian film. Yeah, mm -hmm. he uh, <laughs> is a vegan animal rights activist, yeah. very outspoken about the issue. And the film goes over how cows, pigs, chickens, turkeys, and fish mm -hmm. are raised and killed for food. So mm -hmm. it's a no-holds-bar look at industrial animal agriculture and um, is very graphic and mm -hmm. eye-opening. So we launched a website, meatvideo.com, where people mm -hmm. can view it for free and they can share it with friends. And so far, just in the last few months since we've launched it, it's been viewed over three million times online. Mm, that's um, great. We've just been inundated with comments from people that mm -hmm. have been inspired to go vegan from, cool. from the film. But we also did a nationwide tour to promote the film mm -hmm. using a truck that has 80-inch TV screens on mm. three of the sides. And that's we went cool. to... Uh, to 42 cities, 12,000 mm -hmm. miles in three months, yeah. and uh, showed the video in downtown locations, on college campuses, mm -hmm. and it generated a lot of mainstream media coverage, mm -hmm. reaching... Which is what we need. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. It, it got this image um, into the living rooms yeah. of consumers, you know, through mm -hmm. this broadcasts, and it uh, was a very effective campaign, so we may be doing another round of it soon. Yeah, for the same thing, for Farms of Fridge? Yeah, yeah, yeah going to, to different cities. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And what are, you, what are your plans with Mercy for Animals for the future? Well, we've got a, a lot of ambitious goals. You know, there's mm. a lot of work to be done there to protect there. farmed animals and promote humane food choices. So we're continuing to expand our investigations department. We've mm -hmm. had a lot of success recently getting corporate policy changes and legislation changed mm -hmm. and um, generating thousands of news stories because most people 
just simply don't know how these animals yeah, are being that's abused. Right. Yeah. And I think that education is really key. So we're going to continue to go into factory farms and slaughterhouses mm -hmm. and hatcheries with these hidden cameras and expose the, the hidden truth of, mm -hmm. of this production. Um, we're expanding nationally with new offices that are open, mm -hmm. opening, and we're going to be na uh, launching a national TV commercial campaign oh, promoting wow. vegetarianism That's soon. That's great. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so why do you say vegetarianism rather than vegan? Well, when we say vegetarian, we mean vegan, yeah. uh, really in its purest form. It's a strategic language that we use in mm -hmm. communicating with the public. Um, really, if you look at the definition of vegetarian, it means purely plant-based. Yeah. There's a, and that's why people it should, say, yeah. it should say, a lot of people say lacto-vegetarian, mm. meaning that they are vegetarian but they eat dairy, yeah. or they're lacto-ovo, which mm. they mean they eat dairy and eggs, or they're pesco-vegetarian, which means they eat fish. Mm. So part of it is reclaiming that term, mm -hmm. vegetarian, and really showing what it's supposed to mean. But it's also a term that people are more familiar with, and people are, um, more receptive to sort of taking that first step, which mm -hmm. is what it's all about, is getting people to start making that movement towards yeah. compassionate food And because all the stuff you put out is vegan anyway. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Yeah. Everything that we do has a, a, a vegan message, cool. no matter what term you use yeah. for it. Yeah. Um, and a lot of our work is in the dairy and egg industry, exposing that mm -hmm. abuse. Cool. Yeah. I am um, for my not for profit group, Green Earth Group. We say plant based diet. Yeah, so plant we don't based. Say, yeah, vegan yeah. plant based, herbivore, mm -hmm. you know, plant strong. People mm -hmm. use that oh, term. Yeah, I heard that yeah. One. that's a good one. <laughs> and so, um, Nathan, you identify as a gay male. Um, yeah. How do you see the connection between that and um, the vegan lifestyle? Do you see a connection? Or? Yeah, well, we do a lot of work at Mercy for Animals to sort of bridge the connection between um, oppressed minorities. Mm -hmm. We march in gay pride events mm -hmm. with banners that say, no one's free when others are oppressed. Yeah, and that's true. we've had a really great response. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my, my experience in the gay community is that there's a lot of compassion and empathy for animals. Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of that empathy comes from a place that, from a lot of gay individuals grow up being oppressed mm -hmm. and being the subject of bullying and yeah. being um, marginalized simply for who they are. Mm -hmm. So I think that it makes it easier for us to sympathize and relate to other individuals, mm -hmm. and in this case animals, that yeah. are uh, persecuted because they are cows, pigs, chickens, mm -hmm. just because of who they happen to be in our society, not placing as much value on them mm -hmm. and their needs and interests. Yeah, and it's all about trying to make people get those connections to all the different areas too. Yeah. yeah, like feminist movement, environmental movement, social justice issues, yeah. third world issues, like everything. I, th I personally think veganism just is the answer to all yeah. of those things and it brings you closer to everything and gets yeah. more in contact with what we're meant to be in contact with. And yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's at the end of the day, it's about kindness and compassion and empathy and treating others the way that we want to be treated, yeah. whether it be someone that is a, a different race or gender or sexual orientation mm -hmm. or another species. It's just about, you know, putting our values out there and living consistently with them. Mm -hmm. Definitely. That's yeah. great. Well, thank you, Nathan. Thank and you. check um, Mercy for Animals website for more information. And um, also see vivalavegan.net for more inspiring interviews with vegans.